is a quick setup for your Mac. So first of all, we're gonna plug it in. So remember the plug goes on the back. So just plug it through here. Now remember, when you are unwrapping this, just make sure that somebody can help you. So you can take the wrapping that comes here off because it comes from the bottom as well. So you want to take all of it out and then turn it on. Same thing goes for the screen protector. You want that off, okay, because these things get hot and um, I just don't want anything to happen when you guys turn it on, okay? Next thing is turning on. So on the back of your Mac, you're gonna see this. That's how you turn it on. And here are your USB ports and everything. I don't recommend using these all the time. Get something that you can just connect up to it and then like a hub that I'll show you right now. So this is a hub, it's an old hub that I have. Um, this, you only have to connect one wire to it. So here's the one wire. Okay, one has electricity, which I suggest getting the ones that have electricity to it. And then the other one goes here. So you only plug in one of these to your Mac. And then you can plug several things to your hub. So that way you don't have to turn your Mac around every time you want to plug in a USB stick or anything like that. You can just use this and that will be a time saver. And that way you'll never screw up your Mac uh, just by turning around and get smudges all over the screen and stuff like that. So once you turn it on, you should hear a sound and you should see this bar, this loading bar. Now you will need Wi-Fi or connect your computer to an Ethernet cable. So be ready for that. You do need internet for this setup. So once you put in all your information, um, just your ethernet or your Wi-Fi, um, you're gonna get this so you can transfer all your stuff from before you can just start up a new thing So we're gonna not transfer anything. We're just gonna click on continue You should sign in with your Apple ID. I highly recommend this and I do recommend making and creating an Apple ID Don't skip that part this part You can put your real name or you can put any name that you want in this case I'm putting iMac iMac then a password. I'm gonna take this password off later because I don't want a password I want to start off my Mac without having to put a password but that's it for now. I mean, if you want to take off the passwords once you're logged in, then you can do that. These parts, I always suggest just having them open. Um, you want to send those diagnostics to Apple just to help them out, help you make the system better in the OS. That's the basic setup for your Mac. If you want to further customize everything, just uh, look into my other videos. It's, everything's pretty much to customizing your system preferences. So something that I like to do first, and the first thing I want to do is put all this on. Um, more gestures, I want everything on. Uh, my tracking, I like, to, like it to be fast. And mission control, you guys should check that out. There's shortcuts and a bunch of other things that you guys can do. Um, so I highly recommend customizing all those. And yeah, and don't forget to update your Mac. To update it, all you guys have to do is go up here going to App Store and update it. You will get um, something like here on the side that says restart your Mac to all these updates um, and you do want to update them. So that's why I said create an Apple ID because you do need to update these things and it's gonna work way better with the updates. If you guys don't do updates, it's not gonna work as good as it will. Um, a lot of mistakes, a lot of things that happen to iMacs are just on your OS, um, they happen just because you haven't updated stuff, especially with iTunes. If you don't update it, things happen, things don't work properly. Same goes with your Mac, okay? So just don't forget to update your stuff on your Mac. And there you are, pretty much set up. Um, I have a bunch of tutorials that I can teach you a lot about Mac. So make sure to subscribe and rate, and don't forget to leave your comment down here below if you have any questions.